Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread on the 21st of January 2024. The Bible reading today is 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 to 11. Now brothers and sisters, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received and on which you have taken your stand. By this gospel you are saved, if you hold firmly to the word I preached to you. Otherwise you have believed in vain. For what I received I passed on to you as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day, according to the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas and then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than five hundred of the brothers and sisters at the same time, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, and last of all, he appeared to me also as to one abnormally born. For I am the least of the apostles, and do not even deserve to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God I am what I am, and his grace to me was not without effect. No, I worked harder than all of them, yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. Whether then it is I or they, this is what we preach, and this is what you believed. Today's article titled Saved by Grace was written by Amy Boucher Pye. Gareth, a staunch atheist, was adamant. There is no God. But then he attended church and his belief system was rocked. He shared how, being Welsh, he enjoys a good sing-song. And although he wouldn't normally consider the meaning of the words, this time he cried as he sang. The vilest offender who truly believes that moment from Jesus a pardon receives. Imagine, he who hadn't shed tears after the death of his father or his son stood in the chapel and wept. Then the congregation sang the hymn, Amazing Grace. I knew I was toast, Gareth admitted. He suddenly realised that the catastrophic things he had done including ongoing drug and alcohol use, hadn't resulted for him in death, illness or prison. Rather, that grace had operated in his life. In that moment, I realised that I knew Jesus and I had to accept him. In his conversion experience, Gareth followed the Apostle Paul, who considered himself the least of the apostles, because he had previously persecuted the church. Yet Paul recognised God's grace changing him. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And he became a new creation, as he wrote to this church elsewhere. When we accept God's grace, we too receive a full pardon. God releases us from our sin and welcomes us into a relationship with him. What amazing grace. Let's pray. Saving God, thank you for sending your son to live and die for me. Help me to share the gospel of grace with those I meet today. Amen. Thanks for listening today. 
My name is Lucy, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.